Now then, everybody, welcome back to the second part of the series where I'm showing you how to model a protein shaker in Autodesk Fusion 360. In this video, we'll be creating the first part of the cap to go with the bottle that we created in the first video. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. So from the last video, you should have something that resembles this model here, um, which is the main body for the shaker that we created. Um, what we're going to be doing to start off with is creating the cap now. So what we're going to do is pretty simple, just like last time, we'll revolve the initial shape of the cap and then we'll get into shaping a few of the bits on the top which are quite organic in the form and require a few extra processes to get the, the shape right. So what we'll do is go to the front view in your XZ axis, create a sketch and all we're going to do is project through this profile here, click OK and then we'll just close off this loop, so it's a closed profile and we can revolve that. So if we go ahead and revolve that now, select the axis like last time, instead of cut we're going to do new component, so that completely separates the two objects. Type is fine, angle 360 that's fine, the direction is fine, we can leave that so we'll click OK. Now if you want it to leave like that you can do. Um, but obviously it doesn't look the greatest so we're going to put a, a few more profiles on there which will make it look quite nice. Um, so we'll start off in the YZ axis, create another sketch. And what we're going to do is kind of just cut away some material from here just to uh, give it a bit more of a, a nicer shape. What we're going to do to start with is just slice the model in half so we can see uh, what we're working with here. So pretty simple, just a couple of arcs, one there, we'll redraw that. Check that top line through as a reference line. So we'll make that construction. Constrain those two to that top edge there. And all we'll do is just close that loop off. Finish the sketch. Go to extrude. Profile planes where I want to start, that's fine. The direction will change to symmetric. The distance doesn't matter too much because it's just cutting through that whole material. Make sure it's cutting the right object. There we go, click OK. That's fine. There we go, it's starting to get a bit more shape to it now. And uh, what we're going to try and sketch out next is the the mouthpiece to drink out of and also the cap that will flip up and down to uh, open and close close the, the bottle. So what we'll do is do another sketch on our YZ axis there, slice the, uh, the view again so we can see what we're working with. So very roughly, I'll just create a two point rectangle here just to try and figure out where um, our spout is going to go. That looks pretty good to me. I'll just mirror that line across there. Because obviously for this little piece we're going to revolve it so it's only showing half of the width of what it should be so by mirroring that we can kind of drag stuff around and move it around and see 
how big we think it's going to look and what it will look like. Um, so sometimes not locking your dimensions down, or sorry, locking your geometry down with dimensions uh, is good for if you're just kind of feeling something out and figuring out where you want stuff to go. And when it's not a finalised design, it's, it's good to do that so you can move things around by dragging and moving without actually having to change dimensions and, and that kind of thing. So it's quite good for that. Um, so that's our spout there. Make that a bit smaller. That looks okay to me. Uh, and now we'll work on the actual cap that will flip up and down. So we'll start with the point at which the lid is going to rotate on. So we'll just plonk that there maybe looks okay strike a few lines off there that side and again on the other side there we go make sure they're tangent Strain those to that line there. Make that construction. What we can start to do is just progressively add a few dimensions in. So if we know that size of that circle looks okay, we'll just lock that down. And just start pulling things about. That looks okay. Now we will just start to sketch the actual lid that's going to flip up and down. So let's do a rectangle there. Put a bit of a, a two and a half millimeter thickness on there. 2.5, there we go. to me there we go as I say very rough at the minute um, we can once we've modeled it uh, and we're happy with it we can lock the dimensions down later on and come back and fill it certain pieces that we want to look uh, nice and smooth and we don't want any sharp edges um, so that, that can all be done at a later date, so don't worry about that too much just yet. Uh, we'll also just close a loop off here, because what we're going to do is for this portion here, we're gonna remove some material, so that'll come, become clear in a minute uh, as to what I'm gonna do. So there we go, that looks okay for now, and you'll see as I start to extrude and create certain bits uh, what this is all going to turn into so I'll just finish that sketch for now now first thing I'm going to do is just remove some of this material at the back here so go to extrude select that profile there direction is symmetric it's going to be going both ways drag that out there like that that's fine Okay, let's turn that sketch back on. Next thing what we're going to do is just go back into this sketch, just pull this up a little bit there, just so it's clear of that. There we go, that looks okay. And again, we'll just pull that up slightly, finish that sketch, there we go. Next bit we're going to extrude is this triangle a bit once we've actually closed the loop on that because we forgot to do that so we'll just do that now and you quickly finish the sketch there we go nice and easy uh, symmetric that 
that's fine. But this time, instead of it being a cut, I'm going to join. There's one little edge that we forgot to tick. There we go. That looks okay to me. Click OK. So next we're going to create an area in which that the cap is going to sit and rotate back and forth to open and close the bottle. So we'll go back into this sketch here. Um, this little section for the, the, the lid to rotate in is going to be created in this little circle here. Um, but what we're going to need to do is kind of create a smooth edge uh, so the cap can actually move back and forth. So we'll put an arc on the front here and on the back there. We'll just make sure they're tangent so it all fits nicely together. Again, we don't really have to dimension those up just yet, we can do that at a later time. Finish the sketch. So to cut away here, what we will do is that circle there and then these little extra bits that we've created here, making sure we select all the little bits of the overlapping lines there. So dimension to symmetric, cutting away from the body, and we're just going to drag that to the desired distance, which that looks about fine to me there. We'll click OK. There we go, so it's starting to take a bit more shape now. So onto the lid then, what we're going to do is go back into this sketch here. I'm going to put another little circle inside there. Uh, so we've got something that the actual lid can rotate uh, around and sit into the, the rest of the lid. Uh, so that's fine, we'll finish that sketch there. And we'll go to extrude, select this little circle we just created there and we're going to create little holes for the uh, the barrel of the lid to sit in so to start we're going to leave that at profile plane direction symmetric again and again what we can do for this change that to cut and we can just kind of do it by eye looking how far we want to go through the body that looks about fine to me Click OK. There we go. So that's the end of the second video in this series. I hope you enjoy watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on part three where we'll be finishing off the cap and creating the mixing mechanism. Cheers.